Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my yearly iMats haul. I go to iMats every single year. I absolutely love it. It is like a huge opportunity to shop for really discounted makeup, and I always buy so much stuff. If you guys have watched my past hauls, you know I, I do some damage, and this year was definitely no exception. I actually brought my sister with me this year, which was super exciting. I had so much fun with her. Um, I was not actually allowed to carry a lot of weight, which is one of the reasons why I brought her. So she came basically to be my Sherpa for the day, and she was such a trooper about it. I actually bought her some things at IMATS to say thank you, and she had a really great time. But when we walked out of IMATS, she legitimately looked like a pack mule. She had so many bags in her hands. It was the funniest thing. I wish I would have taken a picture, but I got a ton of stuff, and I'm super excited to show you guys. I did want to quickly mention that today's video is being sponsored by Best Fiends, which is an app that looks just like this. It is a free puzzle adventure game where you can um, collect all these cute little magical characters. And basically what you do is you want to give them these little power-ups by collecting strawberries, mushrooms, leaves, flowers, and each one collects different things. And then they use the little like things that you collect and kind of connect them, like connecting these three little leaves. And they use it to kill these big black slugs. You get like diamonds and keys and you can up your levels. And what's really neat um, is you can connect with your friends on Facebook and play against each other. So you guys can download it and play against me. It's completely free in the app store and it's so much fun, you guys. Like I'm semi-addicted. And even my daughter Mia, who's only two, wants to play it with me now, which is always super fun. I'm also on level 31, which is crazy, but I am just loving this so much and I think you guys will too. So definitely download it and play against me because I think that'd be so much fun. I'm gonna try and go through the haul kind of quickly just because there's so much stuff and I do not want this to be a five hour long video. The first stop that I made at IMATS was the NYX booth. I had to pick up those new Total Drop Controller foundations. They just look like so much fun. I got two different shades. I got the color TCD F04 and then the F05. I was kind of like in between these two so I decided to get them both. The shade range on these foundations, they had probably 20 or 30 different shades. It is the widest range of shades in a foundation I've ever seen. So I'm super excited to try those. I also got a bunch of their lip liners um, and then my jumbo eye pencils. If you guys didn't know, I love NYX jumbo eye pencils. They are life to me, especially if you're doing metallic or chrome eyeshadows. These just make them pop so much. They're so creamy, really blendable and super affordable. The next booth we ran over to was Kat Von D and I picked up their Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. This is a new product and I'm super excited to try it. Anything that says it's going to like lock my makeup in place, I am all about it. I also picked up a um, tattoo liner in the color Trooper. This is like my holy grail eyeliner now. I even got my sister hooked on it so I bought her one there. These are just, especially if you're like eyeliner spastic like I am, these are life saving. Can we talk about how freaking cute this bag is? This is from Violet Boss. I went there for one thing and one thing only, and I stayed true to that. This is their new Violet Boss Pro Ride or Die palette. They released this the weekend of IMATS, and you guys, I can't. Like, look how amazing this is. You have every kind of shade you can imagine, every tone. You have um, matte finishes, satin finishes, shimmer finishes. Like, they are just the most gorgeous colors. I love the mixture that they did in this palette. I just think it's so neat. And I love that they named them after like girls' names. I thought that was really cute. And there's actually one in here called Nicole. And surprisingly, it is actually one of my favorite colors. And then from Dose of Colors, I picked up their new Gold is the New Black highlighter because, I mean, number one, the packaging, but number two, how freaking gorgeous is this highlight? And then they actually gave out a free gift as well when you made a purchase, and it was this little dose of colors, um, a powerful pink lip duo. So you got a shimmer, I believe this is a infinitely pink, I'm not sure if this is a lip gloss, it kind of looks like a lip gloss. And then a lipstick in the color Cha Cha Pink, which is super cute. I love dose of colors lip products. I think they're just one of the best on the market right now. And then I also stopped at the Pure Booth and picked up another of my favorite hydrogel um, under eye primer. I just started using this probably one or two months ago, and I've already gone through almost an entire tube of it, so I definitely wanted to restock while I was there. And then one kind of random place that I went was called Brush Guard. They look like this. I actually bought these a really long time ago at Walmart, and I lost them, but when I did have them, I loved them so, so much. So anytime that I travel, or even when I just wash my brushes, I put these over them, and it protects them, and it also um, reshapes them, which is really neat. And these were super affordable. I want to say these were six bucks each at IMATS for this entire pack and here you got ten of them and in here you got two four five of them this one is for your bigger brushes and then this is for kind of like your shadow liner eyeliner um lip type brushes so the one booth I always go to at IMATS no matter what is the Mamie's booth and I always pick up this this is a pro pack of beauty blenders that comes with a solid cleanser at the bottom now what I was super excited about this year is they released a new product which is their blender cleanser solid pro it is this giant black solid cleanser it is a 5.3 ounce jar which is huge compared to their original one ounce um, the girl told me that this has been reformulated and that this is like the holy grail of beauty blender cleansers now she prefers it much over the liquid so I'm really excited to try it just because my liquid lately is just doing nothing as far as cleansing and then also from Nanny's I picked up um, two of the translucent setting powders. 
I talk about this so many times, you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about it, but I cannot stress enough how much I love the setting powder and I go through it so, so much. And then the girl who's there also talked me into buying their secret brightening powder, which is very similar to the translucent setting powder, but it is specifically for under your eyes. And I'm always looking for stuff to help my under eyes because they're dry and they crease and it's just always like, it's always a process. And then also from the Nanny's booth, they had a Lime Crime section. And I haven't bought anything Lime Crime in a long time, but I kind of took the plunge because they had so many beautiful liquid lipstick colors. And I've heard the formulas are just like unparalleled. So I got four of them. This one is Scandal, which is a really pretty purple. Teddy Bear, which is a really nice like mauvey, like purpley pink color. I also got Marshmallow, which is like my holy grail nude color. And then Prairie, which is kind of like a Kylie Jenner lip kit color, in my opinion, like the original Kylie Jenner lip kit. And then I got Fluke, which is one of their diamond crushers, which you can put like over lipsticks. You can put it as an eyeshadow. It's just really, really sparkly. And you guys know I'm all about that sparkle life. And then I saw these and I had to pick one up just because they are so freaking cute. It's like these little velveteen um, mini lip kits and it comes in this little flower tin case. They have like, I want to say four or five different ones. Let me try and open this without injuring myself because you guys know I'm a spaz. But in here you get three little mini um, liquid lipsticks. Look how cute those are. And in here, this is the first year I actually stopped at the Mayron booth and I'm so glad I did because I wanted to pick up this palette and they actually had it. Look how pretty this is. So I picked this up because this year I actually want to try and do some really fun um, Halloween looks and tutorials and I don't have anything like this to do that with. And I'm so glad that they had it there and that it was actually on special which was really nice. And then I ran over to Cryolon because I saw these and I thought these would be perfect for um, Halloween looks as well. There were these really cool like face lace type stickers for your eyes and under eyes. I just thought they were really neat and I love that they're reusable if you take care of them. And then also from Krylon, I picked up this Camouflage Cream Concealer Palette because I have heard amazing reviews about it. It's literally impossible for me to go to IMATS without stopping at the Sigma booth. I love Sigma brushes. They are my all-time favorite. I will never, ever stop using them. So I picked up a bunch of brushes that I wanted to try, a lot of their new ones. Um, I got this F42 Strobing Fan Brush for highlight. I got an angled brow brush just because I've been needing a new one. I also got an E40 um, Tapered Blending. This is my Holy Grail blending brush for eyeshadow. I also picked up their F79 concealer for under my eyes. It just looks so fluffy and like it's going to make my under eyes look airbrushed and anything that'll help with that I'm into. I got an E38 diffused crease brush and then an F05 small contour brush because I don't have any contour brushes that I love right now and the struggle to find one has been super real. They also came out with this 3D HD blender. It's supposed to be like their version of a beauty blender so we're going to see how this works. I'm a diehard beauty blender fan so I'm interested to see how this compares. And then I also picked up um, their Sig Magic brush shampoo. The girls were telling me that it's made of all natural ingredients, so I thought that was really nice. I also picked one up for my sister. And then with your purchase, they gave you like a free little um, mini brush. This one is the E47 shader crease brush, and they also gave me an E56 shader lid. And then this little, um, I think it's called a Pratt Palm Mat. It's like a little mat that you can put on your hand to wash your brushes with. Anastasia Beverly Hills is another booth I literally always have to hit and this year I picked up quite a few of their brow products. I got their tinted brow gel because mine just is kind of old and I wanted to replace it and get a darker color as well. This one is in the shade chocolate. I also got two of their brow definers because I'm obsessed with them. I bought them last year at IMATS when they were first released and I've gone through so many since. I got the colors medium brown and then chocolate as well. I've actually been using medium brown. I've noticed it doesn't have enough of a like reddish chocolate tint to it so that's why I got the chocolate as well. And then I got a new um, Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ash Brown. My, what's funny is those ones weren't red enough and then my Dip Brow was too red so this one's more of an ash color. And then I got the Anastasia Glow Kit in the color Sun Dipped. You guys, I have to show you this. I actually bought one of these for my sister as well because she thought it was so pretty. I'm going to look like a straight up bronze goddess this summer. Like look how pretty this palette is. Anastasia highlights and their illuminators, like they're seriously the best. I think Sugar Pill has like the cutest logo and packaging of life, so I wanted to pick up and try out some of their actual products. Um, I picked up their eyeshadow in Poison Plum, which is this gorgeous purple. Every time I find a look or a makeup tutorial on Instagram that I love, this is always somewhere in that look or tutorial that they use it, so I had to try it out. And I also found this really amazing pigment in the color Countess. It's this really deep, gorgeous purple color. I am so excited to make something out of this. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do yet with it as far as like an eye look, but it's going to be banging. Like, I'm super excited for this. 
I also stopped by Velour Lashes because I wanted to pick up some mink style lashes. You guys know I've been lash spastic for the longest time. I've gotten a lot better, thank goodness. But I do want to start practicing with mink lashes and not just like my regular um, toss away ones. So I got these styles in Doll Me Up and Show Fluffy and I think they are so cute. Like I love the way both of these look. I'm super excited to start playing with them. I also picked up their lash applicator because I was talking to the girl about my lash spasticness and she said that these are like a lifesaver. So I'm going to try these out. I might even do like a video with these to show you guys how they work and what I think of them. And then I also picked up their lash glue because I've never found one that I really, really love. My House of Lashes one is actually pretty good and especially in a pinch it'll work. But the girl actually let me test these out while I was there. They were so sticky and they dried down so fast. I was really, really impressed. So I got clear and black. And then I also stopped by um, the Muse Beauty Pro booth and picked up another Visart palette. I bought my first um, Visart palette in 2016, kind of towards the end of the year. I got that blush palette. And I saw this um, matte eyeshadow palette and I was just like, if the pigmentation of this is going to be anything like that blush palette, I have to have it. And I love that it's all matte shades. This was, I think, um, $60 as opposed to its $80 retail price at eye mats. I just think this is so perfect for traveling. You can create so many looks with this. And again, I love, 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 love that it's all matte shades. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I bought at iMats. If you guys went to iMats, let me know in the comments down below what you bought. I'd love to check everything out. If there's anything that I bought that you guys want to see demos or swatches or reviews or tutorials with, let me know. I'll be more than happy to film that for you. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. the it cosmetics bye bye makeup three in one makeup melting cleansing balm this is easily like my third or fourth jar of this i am so in love this takes my makeup off like nothing else like it not only